where you collect items, you figure out where they go, and then, waboom! Clue. Hey, the amazing Rando! Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind! <laughs> What's up, rascals? Welcome back to Lonely Things. Last episode, we met with... What's her name? Jane? And and got some stuff. We found uh, the manager's office through a creepy labyrinth of carved-out tunnels or some schnizel. And now we're off to room 9 to see what's in there, because we also picked up a key to that room. Because we be sneaky betches. And that's what we're gonna do. All just so that I could find my car. This isn't room nine, it's room eight. But, it's so empty. It doesn't even have a bathroom. Why am I obsessed with the bathrooms here? I don't know. I think it's funny. Hmm? Is someone there? I've gotten myself stuck in here somewhere. It's pitch black. I'm completely lost. How did you end up behind a wall? I don't know. I can't remember. It's hopeless, I'm afraid. I should just accept reality. But, would you stay and talk to me a moment? Can I help somehow? You're helping already. Take Talking takes my mind off the noises. Can you move at all, or are you actually stuck? Oh, that's a good question, because... <laughs> Who would want to be stuck between walls? That'd be, that'd be nasty. Yes, but it's hard to tell where. I can feel the walls run along my fingers. I can feel the wind change direction. Wait a minute. You can feel the walls running along your fingers? Does that mean you're holding still and the walls are moving? Creepy! But I think you got that sentence backwards, so I'm just gonna let it slide. I think I've ended up very far away from where I began. Okay. I'll get the manager. No, no, leave that man out of it. Please. That would only make matters worse. What? What's wrong with the manager? It's not my place to say. Oh. Okay. Okay, well, good luck with your being stuck in the wall. I'll, I'll talk to you later, I guess. Ugh. Do, 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 do. Hello? Okay, find room nine. I want to find room nine. Because that's the, here we go. Unlock room nine key. Hello? Anything... Anything... Not at all creepy in here? I doubt it. But... What? I, what? Alright. Ooh. Narrative. A few months ago, in the town where I used to live, I bought a mirror from an antique shop while I was out wandering on the, one of my days off. I don't know anything about antiques, but it looked like a high-quality mirror. A little scuffed up, but like it belonged in some Victorian lady's bedroom. That kind of thing. I hung it in my living room above the fake fireplace. I didn't spend much time looking at it at first, but one day I was daydreaming and happened to focus on the reflection of the armchair across the room from where I was sitting. I started to get the distinct impression that something wasn't right with that armchair. Like it shouldn't be there. So I got up and went to look at the real armchair. And it looked like it had before. Then I sat in it. And I realized that it had to go. Something definitely wasn't right about it. Over the next few weeks, this process repeated with every object in the living room. Looking at them all in the mirror, one by one, it was as if I was seeing what they really were. Things from somewhere else. When I put my fingers to them, they made my skin crawl. They looked out of proportion, 
rotten and wrong. It eventually occurred to me that if everything in my living room was wrong, then I had to then I had better check the bedroom too. In fact, I'd better check everything in the house to see if any of it was right. Eventually, I was left alone in my empty little house. Some of it went to the dump. Some of it I just burned. I even had to strip the wallpaper. It wasn't quite enough, though. When I looked into the mirror, I still had the feeling that there was something very wrong going on. Then, late one night, I was looking into the mirror trying to focus on exactly what still was wrong. When I saw the door to my bedroom creak open in the corner of the glass. I looked behind me and it remained closed as it had as I had left it. But when I looked back into the mirror, I saw myself standing in the doorway and I had disappeared from where I was sitting. My expression was contorted into a vicious growling smile. That's when I realized it was never the armchair, never the vase or the bed, or the picture frame. It was me. I wasn't right. With everything else gone, I was all that was left, and I didn't belong. I am not here anymore. Ooh! Tingly. Oh, how's that for a creepypasta? I know a certain someone who would enjoy hearing that one or reciting it. <laughs> All right, where to now? Ah, the bar. After that kind of a creepazoid thing, I need to drink heavily. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. But there's my room. Here we go. Down the stairs to the bar. We've got all of our stuff to solve a puzzle. Because that's kind of what's going on here. It's kind of a puzzle solver. You collect items, you figure out where they go, and then, waboom! Clue. And also, with the solving of the mysteries and such, light that candleless thingy. Cool. Alright. And place it. Hi! You freaked me out. Not really, but still. Sit down. Let's talk to Grace. That's my favorite drink. How did you know? Um, it's mine too. Well, look at us. So much in common already. How's your night going? Uh, my car's been stolen. Other than that, it's uh, not bad. That's too bad. The good news is that means you can have a drink with me. Um, what would happen if I say that? I don't know. We'll find out some other time. Sounds good. Great. Although, maybe not here. It's a little crowded. We could go to my room? Lead the way. Take a key. I'll make... I'll meet you there. I'm in room five. You haven't been there before, right? No, of course. Ignore me. Just come up in a little while, okay? And if the manager asks what you're doing, don't mention me. He has ideas about how people should behave. Whoosh! And she's gone in a puff of evil! <laughs> um... I'm gonna leave you alone. I know you're kind of a angry shit right now. Because I was talking to his grace. Alright. Now. Room 5. That's where we need to be. That's where we need to go. That's progress. Progress. Procedural progress of game. And we go. What are you talking about? I have no idea. I'm just spouting shit right now. And who knows if it's relevant to anything of the sort. Hi. Okay. Nope. 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 Where are we going? We're going to room five. Where is room five? I would like to find the room five. 
Are you room five? Or maybe are you room five? What's in here anyway? Don't know, it's locked. All right, room five it is. Ah, here we go. Unlocked the room five. And in we go. Whoa. Lots of drinky poo. Drinks for me and you. Whoa. That wasn't what I meant to do. I don't know. Why is it red in here? Ah, hello. Grace, are you okay? Making out with the floor. I fell down. What? Excuse me? A poltergeist has sprung a leak, a hole in the floor. We're upstairs, why is there a cavern? Oh well, let's just explore it. Seriously, what the fuck? Hello? Hello, it's much brighter in here. What are you up to? Oh, <laughs> twitchy motherfucker, aren't you? Well, that's a pretty face you got there. <laughs> All right, go up here. A warped bathroom. Hello, Joe. What the fuck, man? Also, what the extra fuck? Oh, talk to you. I think she's dead. Something wrong with her face. <laughs> oh no. Why did you chuckle? What's this? Read a note! It won't be long now. It's coming for me. I've been like this my whole life. I n never knew any other way to be. The truth is, I just hate it all. There's no pain, no trauma. There's just nothing I'd rather be than a quiet drunk. Nobody ever really wanted to understand that. At least here, people never bothered me. Until you, Joe. You just won't leave me alone. So I'm not going to pretend anymore. The only way out is down. Creepage. Also, there's a wiggly tree on her face. Ugh. Your face got all manglified. That's not fun. Shut up, you! Okay. Well. This is an awkward predicament. But. Something. All right, Joe, you creepy bastard. You go ahead and keep staring at Grace's face and the deadness. I'm going to move on. Oh, yeah. Downstairs. Down the pit. And then we continue through here. And then down an extra pity pit. kind of freaky that there's a hotel with caves from upstairs leading to oh that's lovely place place the tree and uh oh I guess that's a signal for them to send up a ladder and we'll find out where it goes in the next episode Thank you guys so much for watching this one. If you liked it, let me know by giving that like button a bop. Leave some comments down below. Is this some creepy shit or what? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze.